What up, this is Ramash Queen covering movies, TV and entertainment and here's my review of Netflix series Cobra Kai Season 5! Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this! First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this entire new season. It goes without saying that even though I will not be spilling spoilers here, this review is mainly for those of you, my fellow Cobra Kai fans, who already know what's up. God damn, this show just keeps getting better and better with every passing season, isn't it? I mean, I don't think I've ever heard myself telling you, boy, this new season blows, or this new season is a eh, mixed bag. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> because trust me when I say, season 5 is so freaking spectacular, your fandom will grow even deeper. There are shifting or changing loyalties or allegiance this time around. And there are scenes that push the characters to their limits. To the point in which even Daniel LaRusso gets blinded by rage and tempted by the dark side. Yes, I'm using Star Wars reference, something that we can all relate to. And if you thought Terry Silver was manipulative before, boy, you ain't seen nothing yet. The writers really up the ante, they take it up a notch, the fights are more vicious, and the need to win at all cost will reveal some of these characters' true colors. Yes, it's still an action comedy with lots of humor and lots of heart, so no worries on that front. But in addition to that, the lines are now drawn in the sand. And the million dollar question is, are they gonna lose their integrity on the path to defeat a common nemesis. So yes, 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 without a doubt, this is Cobra Kai's best season yet. Written and executive produced by Josh Hill, John Hurwitz, and Hayden Schlossberg, following the shocking results of the All Valley Tournament, Season 5 finds Terry Silver expanding the Cobra Kai empire and trying to make his No Mercy style of karate the only game in town. With Chris behind bars and Johnny Lawrence setting karate aside, to focus on repairing the damage he's caused, Daniel LaRusso must call on an old friend for help. Starring Ralph Macchio, William Zabka, Courtney Hengler, Sholo Maraduena, Tanner Buchanan, Mary Mouser, Jacob Bertrand, Yuji Aokimoto, Thomas Ian Griffith, and Peyton List. Okay, season 5 picks up almost right where the last one left off, with Miguel going down south to locate his father, but it's not so much about Miguel searching for his dad as it is more about what that trip does to the trio dynamics of Johnny, Miguel, and Robbie. The only thing that comes up short about that arc is that it's not fully resolved on Miguel's side of the story, but I chalk that up to perhaps the writers are saving it for season 6 which hopefully officially happens. Now, let's get to the team up of Chosen and Daniel. I've touched on it a bit earlier about how rage consumes Daniel. Chosen, on the other hand, is more or less similar, but since all he knows is his training and his set of principles, Chosen is also gullible on other aspects of life. The arguments that Daniel and Chosen often have regarding their approach to Terry Silver boils down to how far is too far. Should they strategize or should they, as famously known, strike first? And I'm glad the writers could also activate the odd couple formula about them from time to time. Now, I'm not allowed to tell you details about Chris's time in jail, but I'll just say this. That man always has tricks up his sleeves. Just when you thought he's done for, that's when he makes his move and proves us wrong. Speaking of making his move, Terry Silver is putting together his own special A team, and they are international, and they are ruthless. Look, we all know that elements of fun were never part of the equation in Cobra Kai training. But with all these new senseis around, it's like the kids are now being molded into a bunch of pissed off warriors ready for battle. I feel kind of bad for them because at the end of the day, they're just teenagers. They're not supposed to be tools used in some personal vendetta. But that's what Terry Silver is preparing them for. Okay, I geek out at finding out that some of my favorite characters from the previous seasons showing up again in this new one 
even for just a few episodes. And yes, some characters from the previous Karate Kid movies also make their appearances here. I'm not gonna say who, but kudos to the show for maintaining that nostalgic track record. Yes, Eagle Fang and Miyagi-Do versus Cobra Kai is still at the center of this new season. As the conflict escalates, builds up, and intensifies. But there are also other moving components that compel the characters to reflect on which group they want to side with. Okay, as you know, my favorite character is Eli, aka Hawk. Unfortunately, Hawk doesn't have that big of a role in this new season. Nothing earth-shattering compared to how he was previously written. But you know what? It's kind of nice seeing Hawk just be one of the good guys. He may not have that much drama here, but he's still a cheer-worthy badass. And last but not least, you know how in the previous seasons there would always be like, a big fight between the two groups of kids. Well, season five kind of mixes things up a bit and it doesn't make that too much of a recurring thing anymore. The fight choreographies, however, are a lot more daring, a lot more lethal, especially when the senseis are involved. With weaponry and big sharp blades now come into play, season five is not joking around when it comes to anybody getting potentially hurt. It's crazy. So yeah, that's all I can say about season 5 without dropping spoiler bombs. And isn't it awesome that we no longer have to wait till the end of the year to catch this new season. You know how it is. When you enjoy something, you want to have it now or soon rather than later. And so now or soon is exactly what we're getting.